Hey, uh, this is not a shave video. It's kind of a product video. Uh, I just got this in, uh, I think today, and it is uh, Fit Jar Islands is over in Norway company. And I've seen some posts online that say maybe they're having a hard time making a lather from it. But then I've uh, seen other posts that said, uh, wow, this is terrific. It lasts a long time because it is in fact a hard puck. So there's a potential for it to last a nice long time. And uh, I thought uh, they were offering free shipping. And so I thought, hey, this is the best time to, to snag some up. They uh, have it available in a plastic tub, just the refill pucks as well. And then you can buy it with the wooden bowl. And that's what I decided to do. I'm a sucker for a wooden bowl. So this is just to show you the product and give you my take on the scent from a dry puck um, perspective, which is not always accurate, but it's something. Okay, so first one thing, um, you know, it came, you know, like so, and as you can see, it got crushed a little bit. They didn't really ship it in a corrugated box, which I found kind of strange, and so part of it was crushed in a little bit. Well, I don't know if they're trying to be environmentally conscious and not use up very much shipping product, you know, um, or if they're just kind of being cheap or or what, but um, it did arrive from Norway, kind of crushed a little bit. Now, it didn't seem to affect any of the actual product, but as you can see, it did affect the presentation. And so maybe if you're, if you're thinking this should be a gift or something, that, that could be an area of concern. Um, but uh, otherwise, it was just a, a simple, uh, a simple box. It's got things written on the side. And then it's got, I guess, the Norwegian version on the other side. So now I can read it because it's not backwards. Live simply, love strongly, and let no island go uncharted. Uh, and so it's the wood bowl. Nothing on the bottom. And it's almost an unfinished, hazy appearance. It is very smooth, very smooth. Um, and uh, and there's even, nope, that looks like imperfection, but it's, it's been sanded smooth. Uh, of course, it, it's pretty standard, except it does have their logo. Wait a minute, I think that's right side up. Uh, but the, the wood, the lid fits. Uh, I'm not detecting any rocking, so it's a good fit for the bowl. And then inside, it comes with a, uh, a free thing of ball of uh, aftershave splash. No, you know what this is? It's in the same container as many aftershave splash samples. What this is, and I read the instructions, is wax treatment for wood bowl. And it's got instructions in tiny letters printed on the back. And it says, um, spread a few drops of pure organic jojoba liquid wax on your fingertips and rub into the bowl and lid. It will give the wood a deep glow and a gentle sheen. The little wax will go a long way. Use it to touch up the bowl whenever needed. So, pretty cool. And so I think that's why they left it in a... Um, it's not a super glossy state. They didn't, they, it doesn't seem like they applied some kind of polyurethane or some other type of sealant. Uh, so that's very interesting. So, I, don't, I mean, why not? Let's do it right now. Rub it between my fingers and then let's kind of. It does, I mean, obviously it, it is uh, deepening the wood. Probably going to make it look really, uh, really nice. Yeah, I mean, look at that now. See, here's the untreated side, mostly. And the inside, here's the untreated side here. And then here's the treated, so pretty cool. Let's uh, let's keep going. Jojoba wax 
oil. And I'll do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do half the bottom so that it's easy to uh, see. So there you go. See how it brings out the richness and the grain. I like the finish of the bowl, you know, the, the corners, or there's no splintering or anything like that. It looks like it's a, it's an expensive bowl, don't get me wrong, and so it should be this, this nice. Uh, matter of fact, I kind of think it should be a little, little nicer, but, um, but I thought maybe they're going for a natural kind of feel here, and I don't blame them. I think it's, I think it's nice, I think it's pretty. So, there we go, unstained, and then with the jojoba oil. Of course, I'll do the inside as well, but you don't need to sit with me while I do all that. Well, why don't we do the whole part of the bottom side, just so we can kind of see it in full, full glory. Does appear to be all one piece, you know, turned out of one piece of wood, which is nice. So, let's see here. Probably let a little bit of excess sit on it, let it soak in is probably a good idea as well, but that's just my guess. So there we go, pretty nice, huh? And most of the sides now have been have been done inside only from when my fingertips have kind of touched it so this is a an attractive bowl I'm glad I got that and I got the wooden bowl because I thought that uh, you know I don't have a lot of wooden bowls and so it's easy to pick it out from my inventory you know what I mean uh, and so uh, here's another example of treated and untreated. I can treat the top after the video is done. So pretty neat. And then there's plenty of the uh, the jojoba wax oil to last quite a bit. So that's nice. And uh, the refill puck is what's next. And it came like this. And Slatteroy is this scent, and there's the uh, the way it's spelled. And I could be butchering the pronunciation. And the text here says, A blend of exotic woody spices with bright notes of spicy citrus, awakening memories of a time when seafarers came home from abroad with mysterious gifts. Uh, it does have uh, glycerin, some of these first ingredients, aqua glycerin, Sodium stearate, sodium palm kernelate, sorbitol, potassium stearate. Is this a vegetarian soap? I think it might be. Now look, um, in, in European language, this has the 6M. And so it says that that means you should use it up kind of within six months after opening it. Now that's a hard soap, so I hope it's going to last a way lot longer than that. Um, so that's interesting. Made in Fitjar on the remote west coast of Norway. And it gives kind of an address. Um, so here's a close up if you want to do a, uh, a screen pause close up of the uh, ingredients list. Not focus is not excellent at that distance. Would it be better if I did that? Maybe. So, recycle other little notes. So there we go. Now, I bought it because of this note that said exotic woody spices with bright notes of spicy citrus. Now, what I'm getting from the dried puck citrus is way far ahead 
because of this notation, it says woody spices with citrus, you know, the with, and I think the, the citrus should really kind of be mentioned forward because it's so dominant. But what I'm hoping is that, and this sometimes happens, a scent will be totally different when you get it wet and get it lathered. Hopefully that woodiness will come forward. Maybe the citrus will fade back a little bit. But anyway, the packaging's pretty cool. Um, it's got a double layered uh, paper here with kind of the gray and on one and the orange on the other. And it was, this was the label and it was taped, so I had to rip that. And then just kind of a wax paper. Not quite wax paper, but close. And here we go. And it's a uh, trapezoid kind of shape. It's got their little logo stamped on it. It's very hard, very hard soap. So this is one I could definitely see um, uh, pre-soaking. And it seems about a standard size. Uh, I've got a... Do I have? No, I don't have my, my Williams mug. Um, oh, hey. Here's kind of a known size reference. You know, these tubs, like for chiseled face, um, a little bit smaller. Um, so it looks like it's about the same size as a fine accoutrements puck. Um, now, how does it fit in the wooden bowl from their images online and yeah sure enough um, there's a lot of room around um, the thing so you could put it in this way but then there's a lot of room to wa for water to gather um, and so I might be tempted I'm gonna ask around before I do this probably um, to shave this to grate it with a cheese grater and then press it into the bottom of this and that way you don't get that water hanging out on the side that kind of messes with things but it can just sit right there if you want it to. And that's kind of cool that uh, the bowl is not custom made for this because if you like the bowl, then you can use it with all kinds of soaps. But you know, I'm gonna go get a ruler so I can give you some measurements. Um, so there we go. So the scent, citrus just jumps out at me. Kind of like a lemon pledge, to be honest. That's a little bit of a disappointment. Doesn't feel all that exotic. lemon pledge dry soap put it's lemon pledge uh, furniture polish if you guys don't know for some people who don't know that uh, so that's uh, but we'll see how it opens up I mean that's the whole thing okay, it's first impression dry it could totally change when wet and I hope that that's true all right What does this cool paper say that it's wrapped in? Oh, okay, looks like it's folded. So, instructions for use on part of it. Some is just an image, you know, and stuff, but uh, uh, the Island Stories is another section. Like uh, Slatteroy is the name of a lighthouse just west of Fitjar. We can see the beams of light from the lighthouse sweeping across the night sky. Okay, so you get a story. And then, uh, keep away for uh, some warnings, like keep the ladder away from your eyes. Huh. Eating it will not make you a more dashing explorer, so let's reserve it for external use only. Uh, and uh, so instructions in English and Norwegian. Uh, and, uh, I mean, warnings in English and Norwegian, but then uh, instructions in English, uh, you know, get your face ready by, of course, they're touting their pre-shave. Uh, work your pre-soaked brush in a circular motion on top of the shaving soap in the container. Give it a stab or two in between to fluff it up. Then the lather begins to get a consistency that is thick enough to hold its own shape. Apply the lather to your face. See full instructions and shaving tips to make the most out of our soaps at fitjarislands.no. All right. 
pretty cool and it looks like the back is unprinted. Okay, so that's kind of neat to, to wrap up instructions and, and this nice little thing uh, and use that to wrap the soap in. Nice, and it looks like it's 100, 100 grams or 3.52 ounces for the puck. I think I've heard that it lasts a really long time. And so even though it was a little expensive, I think it's gonna pay for itself over, uh, it's gonna become less expensive with the more uses you get out of it. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to use this guy for a while because it's August and I'm doing a uh, uh, challenge where we use the same gear, same soap all month long. So it'll have to wait. Um, I, I don't think it's going to smell any better than Lemon Pledge when I use it, but we're definitely going to give it that chance. All right. Well, there we go. I hope there was something here. Oh, you know what? Let me go get a ruler and I'll give you some dimensions on that stuff. All right. So the bottom of the wood bowl is, uh, ta -ta, three and a half inches in diameter on the outside. And then interior diameter is, uh, looks like about three inches on the inside. Uh, height is uh, one inch and uh, seven sixteenths. So almost one and a half inches tall. Can't really measure the depth for you with this ruler, but it's probably that um, it's probably about uh, a little over an inch, uh, inch and a, inch and an eighth probably. And so this guy is about the lid is about three eighths of an inch thick. Whole thing together. Eight sixteenths, nine, ten, eleven, eleven sixteenths, one and eleven sixteenths. Uh, so almost uh, one and three quarters tall. And uh, I think we're good. Um, so let me give that to you in metric, just for grins. So uh, diameter is uh, roughly eighty-nine millimeters. Total height, including lid, 42 millimeters. Height of uh, just the bottom portion of the box, AKA with no lid, 35, not 36 millimeters. Uh, inside diameter, about 76 or 77 millimeters. So pretty cool. I wrapped up the soap puck. Should have measured it before I did that. Sorry if the crinkling is noisy and irritating. Um, the soap puck is two and three quarters inches wide by about an inch high. And uh, at the, that previous measurement was the height here or width there. So let's look at the width on the bottom it is a little over two and three eighths. So there we go. Now metric uh, at the widest point across the top, looking at about 70 millimeters, widest point on the bottom, about 61, 62 millimeters. There's a curve here, so it's hard to say exactly. Uh, and height of the puck, 22 millimeters. So there we go. Yep, lemon pledge. All right. I figure I wanted to go ahead and uh, coat the rest of this in that jojoba oil wax. And uh, so I'm done with that. There are a couple of crevices where you might have to get a little small brush or sponge to get it into the uh, crevices where your fingers can't reach. 
in uh, where on the lid where I just showed you and then the corners of the inside so I finished doing the inside as a nice glossy coat um, on the inside there is one area right here where it's not sanded very well so it's not super professionally done and then on the outside uh, one area where the grain uh, changes uh, here on the side it's longer grain you know probably because the grain of the wood is going this way and so uh, it's not quite you know s uh, as smooth right there so um, I can't remember how much I paid for it it wasn't a lot I would say I'd value this kind of workmanship at about uh, I'd say 18 16 to 20 dollars um, and that, that might be what I paid for it because uh, I mean it's gonna last a, lot, last a long time and there are really cheap uh, Kingsley is a brand that's out there that's very inexpensive like twelve dollars and it is this is better than better than that um, probably made by a higher quality wood as well uh, made with a higher quality wood but it's uh, really nice looking now that that has been applied so pretty neat there we go so uh, all uh, waxy and protected and who knows I may set it aside and hit it with another pass just to uh, just to make sure so that we protect this and maybe make it last for a nice long time. All right, I'm impressed with the fit. It's nice. The uh, the lid is just, it does like if I make it flush on one side, it is a little bit longer. That could be intentional so that it's easy to to lift off. If it was exactly the same, then it might be a little bit more of a challenge to get off. I'm not sure. There we go. I'm very happy with the wood bowl. Um, I'm sure I'll be happy with the soap's performance. Hopefully the scent will change a little bit. But there we go. I hope that you uh, got something from this. Uh, their, their website did not give a lot of pictures, and so that's why I put this video out there. I don't normally do unboxing uh, stuff, but this one was really nice looking, and it come from far away, and it's just very different than what a, a lot of Americans might be used to. So I wanted to bring that to you. All right, now, take care. So Fit Jar Slatteroy. I bought the wood box version, which included the soap puck. And there we go. Have a good day.